Have you ever wondered how far all these stars, all this light, stretch into the unknown? The cosmos is like a boundless ocean, brimming with mysteries that pull at our minds. In this vast expanse, our tiny home, Earth, feels like a speck of dust in an endless sea. Today, we're embarking on a journey to the depths of the universe, from the edges of our solar system to the farthest reaches of the observable cosmos. Join me on the Astrayon channel, and let's see together how this infinite grandeur fills us with wonder, and let's find our place in this strange universe. First, let's figure out how we measure these colossal distances. Light, the fastest thing in the universe, races at an astonishing 300,000 kilometers per second. That's fast enough to circle Earth seven times in a single second. Scientists use a unit called a light year to make cosmic distances easier to grasp. A light year is the distance light travels in one year about 9.5 trillion kilometers. For example, the light from the sun takes eight minutes to reach us, so we're eight light minutes away. Now, if we look further, the closest star, Proxima Centauri, is 4.3 light years away. If it exploded right now, we wouldn't know for 4.3 years. Let's start at home our solar system, and zoom out to the grander scales. In the solar system, distances aren't yet light years, but kilometers don't cut it either. So, we use the astronomical unit, or AU, which is about 150 million kilometers, the average distance from Earth to the Sun. For instance, when Earth and Mars are closest, they're about 0.5 astronomical units apart. To leave the solar system entirely and reach the Oort cloud where comets are born, you'd travel 100,000 astronomical units. Imagine this, even with the fastest spacecraft ever built, getting to Proxima Centauri would take 70,000 years. Let's take a giant leap to our cosmic neighborhood, the Milky Way Galaxy. This spiral galaxy hosts at least 100 billion stars, and we're just in one tiny corner. The distance to the galaxy's center, where a massive black hole called Sagittarius A lurks, is about 27,000 light years. The Milky Way's diameter, a staggering 100,000 light years. A spaceship traveling at the speed of light would need 100,000 years to cross it. And here's the kicker. This is just one galaxy, and the universe is packed with countless others. The Milky Way isn't alone. It's part of a cosmic crew called the Local Group with other galaxies nearby. The closest big galaxy, Andromeda, is 2.5 million light years away, and it's hurtling toward us at 110 kilometers per second. In about 4 billion years, the Milky Way and Andromeda will collide, forming a colossal new galaxy. The local group is just a tiny piece of an even bigger structure, the Virgo Supercluster, spanning 100 million light years. And guess what? That's part of an even larger structure called Laniakea, stretching 520 million light years across. In this scale, the Milky Way is like a single grain of sand on a cosmic beach. The Milky Way and its neighbors within Laniakea are just a tiny node in a colossal structure astronomers call the Cosmic Web. This web is made up of enormous galactic filaments that, like the threads of a spider's web, connect clusters and superclusters together. 
Between these filaments lie vast, dark regions known as cosmic voids, where there are almost no galaxies at all. Let's go to the biggest scale of all, the observable universe. This is everything we can see because its light has had time to reach us in the 13.8 billion years since the Big Bang. The farthest light we detect, called the cosmic microwave background, comes from the universe's birth. 13.8 billion years ago. But here's the twist. Because the universe is expanding like dough rising in an oven, those distant points are now much farther away. According to NASA and Planck telescope data, the radius of the observable universe is about 46.5 billion light years. That means the diameter of our cosmic sphere is a mind-boggling 93 billion light years. So, is this 93 billion light years the whole universe? Or just a tiny piece of something even bigger? This is where science meets wonder and mystery. Some scientists analyzing Planck telescope data suggest the universe might be infinite. No boundaries, just endless galaxies, stars, and space stretching forever. This theory says our universe is flat, like an infinite sheet of paper with no curve to loop back on itself. Another theory proposes a finite universe, but without edges. Picture this. It's like the surface of a sphere. Walk forever on Earth, and you never hit a wall. You just loop back. If the universe is like this, it could be finite, yet boundless. A cosmic game where you always return to the start. Scientists have measured the universe's curvature, and NASA data shows no curve so far, but they're not certain yet. Here's a mind-bending idea. The multiverse. Some theories, like cosmic inflation, suggest our universe is just one of countless others. Scientists like Brian Greene and Max Tegmark propose that inflation might have sparked other universes with different physical laws. This idea, backed by quantum mechanics and string theory, hasn't been proven, but it's thrilling to think about. Data from Hubble and James Webb telescopes show it's driven by a mysterious force called dark energy, making up 68% of the cosmos. This force acts like anti-gravity, pushing galaxies apart. If this keeps up, one day galaxies might drift so far that their light can't reach us, leaving the universe in a deep cosmic darkness. Now, dark energy which is the driver of the accelerated expansion of the universe, has played the main role in bringing the observable universe to its current extent of about 46.5 billion light years, and we are unable to see beyond this limit. Why can't we see beyond 46.5 billion light years? That's where the cosmic horizon comes in, an invisible curtain around us. Anything beyond it hasn't had time to send us its light, since the universe is only 13.8 billion years old. But because space is expanding, some places are moving away faster than light can travel. Their light will never reach us. Like the universe is hiding its greatest secrets. Telescopes like Hubble and James Webb capture light from galaxies billions of years old. James Webb has even spotted galaxies just 300 million years after the Big Bang. 
Projects like the Sloan Digital Sky Survey create 3D maps showing the universe's web-like structure. The universe isn't just huge, it's changing. ESA data shows its expansion is speeding up. In billions of years, distant galaxies might vanish from view as their light fades away, like the cosmos is drawing a curtain around itself. So where do we fit in all this? Earth, a tiny planet in an ordinary galaxy, sits in a corner of this infinite cosmos. The universe isn't just an endless ocean. This is a mirror. Each time we gaze into it, it not only shatters the illusion of our greatness and reveals our smallness, but also shows us our true place in this infinite universe.